Hey everybody, here I am with a Windows XP Virtual Machine in VMware Fusion. What I'm going to be doing is seeing how well Windows XP handles the modern internet. So, if you're wondering what version and service pack of Windows XP we're using, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now that this is Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 3. This is not the unofficial service pack for which modifies the uh, version 2002 or I say it's version 2014 but Windows XP was no longer supported as of April 8th of 2014 and but it doesn't deter me from making this video to show you how Windows XP handles the modern internet and to see what version of web browsers that still support that are that you can run on Windows XP and see what websites still support these old versions of web browsers. So let's go ahead and begin with the infamous Internet Explorer. You want to keep in mind that this isn't a virtual machine and and having it connected to the network it is going to bog down a little whether you're using it on a computer or a virtual machine. Windows XP is going to kind of bog down being connected to a network. So this is Internet Explorer version 8. This is the highest version of Internet Explorer that Windows XP can use. You can't go no higher than Internet Explorer 8, so this is the last version of Internet Explorer that that you can use on Windows XP. And plus this is this version of Internet Explorer you're going to need it anyway to to have the get the updates to work properly so I do recommend installing Internet Explorer 8 if you're going to install Windows XP and install any third-party browsers so because you want to keep in mind that IE6 will not work with a lot of websites with a lot of modern websites especially a lot of heavyweight sites so as you see Google loads up just fine so let's go ahead and pull up YouTube because YouTube's a popular website. And of course you will run into a few little errors. Not all the plugins and extensions will work like they should because it is an older browser and some of the plugins are older versions. See so if you randomly click on a video It is going to be a little finicky because surprisingly YouTube still somewhat supports some of these old browsers but it, but in the end they're trying to prompt a lot of people to upgrade to a later version or a different choice. So let's go ahead and show you how well Facebook handles Internet Explorer 8 as you see it's no longer unsupported, it's mean an unsupported browser, so this kind of resembles the mobile Facebook website like for like a lot of older phones. But surprisingly, my Windows page actually works, which is interesting. And this is a good little website if you need to get like old software for older operating systems like Windows 3.1.95.98.2000 and Windows ME. And actually, Mozilla.org works. So that's why I had to have Internet Explorer 8 installed if I wanted to install like a certain version of Firefox. But I tried to get on Wikipedia, even though I must have misspelled it wrong earlier, so going to give me this error and you won't be able to find more search providers with Internet Explorer because you'll get this error as well but you're wondering does the Windows Update website still work? Of course, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Update you could either do Microsoft Update or Windows Update, but I had to. I updated it to the Microsoft Update once I uh, 
get Internet Explorer 8 installed and because you're going to need, like I've mentioned before oh, several times, that you're going to need Internet Explorer 8 installed to um, get some of the updates and some of the security fixes and patches that you're going to need to use Windows XP on like a network. But I don't recommend using the XP on a network, plus I got all the updates installed anyway, so... So let me go ahead and close on out of that. But you're wondering if you can install third-party browsers. Sure you can. So let me go ahead and open up Firefox because Firefox still supports some websites. I mean, um, some websites still support this old version of Firefox. I can't even talk worth a darn, but Firefox is going to be a little bit on the sluggish side because it uses a little bit of CPU and memory. But Google Chrome doesn't really work that well on Windows XP because there was a 2016 release that no longer supports XP and Vista. I believe there's a certain version out there. But this is actually Firefox Extended Service Release. Which they uh, temporarily made that for people that were still using XP and Vista for a little while get people to upgrade to a newer operating system while well, Firefox may take its time to load so let's go ahead and show you CCleaner even though this is even though CCleaner has nothing to do with the modern internet but actually the CCleaner actually still supports Windows XP by the way but this is version 5.61.7392 but probably by the time this video does, we're probably going to have another version of CCleaner that no longer supports XP. So like I said, yeah, Windows XP is going to be a little bit sluggish since it's connected to a network. So it's kind of going to either bog the computer or a virtual machine down wherever you have Windows XP on. Because it is going to kind of bog down a little. It probably restored my previous session. Because it had froze up earlier when I was trying to make this video. As you see, I have YouTube popped up. Let me find a video. And with this version of Firefox, you can actually. Oh, don't want to do that. I didn't want to go there, but. But I don't recommend using XP as a daily driver. If you manage a team, you have to try Monday.com. Monday.com is a platform to... So by the way, for those of you who's curious of what version of Firefox this is, let me show you real quick. For those of you who want to experiment with Windows XP, and I think there is even a version of Opera that you can use on Windows XP that still supports a lot of modern websites. So this is version 52.90. This, this is actually the last version of Firefox that actually supports Windows XP and Vista. So yep, Google loads up just fine. So let's see if like social media websites like Facebook loads.
But as you see, Facebook on this version of Firefox loads just fine. But one thing you want to keep in mind when using third-party browsers and on old versions of Windows, not all of the extensions and plugins are going to work like they should. Because a lot of websites use a lot of HTML5 and some of these websites are very heavyweight. Which is kind of going to bog the whole system down. So, so yeah. Just wanted to show you guys Windows XP on the modern internet. If you want to try it out yourself on the modern internet, let me know what you guys think to see how well it handles the modern internet for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and thanks for watching.